Hello and welcome back to Epic Failure Server. My name is Rob and we are here today to work on our immersive engineering um, power generation here uh, for the diesel generator for the uh, buildings that we had set out out there. Uh, I put together an idea about what we needed. Um, this is pretty close to it. We'll need a couple of buckets of water, um, probably about five of them. Otherwise, this will give us most of what we need for basic supplies to get there. I have, uh, as you can see here, started rolling out the steel, uh, which is nice because we're going to need uh, need to take 153 of this iron and convert that into steel, which the last bit of that is working now. Uh, so. Uh, really, we can take two stacks and 25 out of here because we won't be needing that anymore. And uh, I'll just throw that over here. Got to hit the right keys. And so we can throw our steel in here. Just uh, trying to make the process go a little faster, that's all. So when this breaks down, we're going to be building the refinery, fermenter, squeezer, and diesel generator. Um, so that breaks down to a lot of stuff, actually. Um, in there, um, you're going to need uh, steel scaffolding, fluid pipe, redstone engineering block, light and heavy engineering blocks, iron sheet metal, um, a wooden barrel, steel fences, generator, and radiator blocks. So um, it breaks down to quite a bit of stuff. So let's get started on that. Uh, let's start with some of the basic things we can break down. Um, I would like to just grab... Is there anything on this right now? No. We're just going to move this up here so we can... Because you can't access the inventory on those. I wonder if I put that here. Can I access the inventory? Nope. All right, let's take this one and this one out. Come on. Not the end of the world. Use that for quick one-time crafting. We'll stick you out there. We'll stick you up here. All right, so... I think all of this ends up getting converted, and we're going to need... four sticks. There's a lot of planks. We do need some pistons. We're going to actually need uh, 17 pistons. Right. 17 pistons made. We need four cauldrons. There we go. Stick that back in there. Just trying to get the basic stuff out of the way while we can. Let's look farther down here. We're going to need uh, copper plate and wire, so we're going to need our immersive engineering tools, which we will probably break this time, but those we can make. And they weren't in the calculation of what you're going to need. I don't think tools really should be a, on our normal recipe list, so we're going to need. See, we have. I will leave that. I'll ruin our calculations here to see if my uh, if everything is working right because we have everything we need there but we'll use that still for building everything let's go around I'll let the door open eh. what's the pigment here or there honestly all right let's hop back up in here so we need uh, 16 copper plate so we'll just grab the hammer here. And that will need to be made into copper wire. Right, and then that's made into coil blocks. So I think that's this way. No. There we go. Coil wire. Yep, we need 16 of that. And then copper coil blocks. Let's 
two of those. That's going pretty fast. Next, we need uh, Connecticut uh, Kinetic Dynamos, which again should be in this list fairly easy to find. There they are. Going to need uh, two of those. Next thing we need is some uh, treated uh, wood planks. We're going to need 26 of those. Well, let's just take all this because we're going to need these. Because those you can't do at 26. You have to round up the nearest 8. Hi, Enderman. And we probably have some over here. We can probably just... Oh, all right. Let's grab some of this. There's eight. You should see if I can find something in the pack that will automate these. Eventually, we're going to... Uh, fill up this drum, which is, uh, not too bad. Right now it's only sitting at 40 buckets after we've pulled out three, so not too bad. So my calculations should have taken into account that we needed an entire another batch of this, even though we're not going to use it. Alright, let's head back. And here we go. All right. So we've got our treated planks. Uh, we're going to need, from that, we need 12 slabs as well. 6, 12. All right. Now we start getting into some of the fun stuff here. Um, what do we all have? We're going to need some Electrum, so we might as well get started on that. That's the 10 gold and 10 silver. That's here. We can stick that in the alloy section up here. Right here, alloys. There we go. So we get that started. And, let's see. We're starting to get into the uh, the things that we're really going to use for the building blocks now. So we're going to need uh, some steel mechanical parts. All right, and by my count, we're going to need 16 of these. All right. And then we're also going to need iron mechanical parts. We're going to need uh, six of these. I also need 32 iron plate. Everything's just kind of getting along here. 32. Grab our hammer and hammer that out. Oh, there it was. So we did get the uh, hammer down. So we need to grab a uh, hammer. We need uh, two iron, two sticks, and a string. Two iron. What are the chances I have some in here? Two sticks. And I don't see any string. Yeah, I kind of got stuff all over the place. I think once, uh, before we finalize our stuff here and build our own stuff, we will get, uh, get something going. You know, with that, uh, it was RF storage, or RS storage, uh, that we had to start for one of the tests that we were doing, so. Right, hit them with a the hammer. There we go. Hammer time. Boom. Grab this. This. Finish that out. Alright. I'm moving right along here. Um, 
question is, is how long before we run out of the steel we need some steel rods we need 17 of these all right and let's see now we need some radiator blocks all right this is what we need the water for too I need a little bit of it, let's see. Can I reach the water here? Facades and can I just get through here? There we go. So we need a total of nine radiator blocks. So this means a couple of trips over here. Not a big deal. All right. So I hope everything's going well with you. Um, it is that time of the year where a lot of the world celebrates um, a lot of different types of holidays. Uh, and uh, it makes us really think about uh, what's going on in our lives and, and the world and um, although I don't want to be uh, very political in those senses I do uh, do want to make sure that uh, everyone knows that I do appreciate uh, their sp them spending some time here with us and it's always greatly appreciated right. this is our last set of radiator blocks so we really only needed nine, but to make everything work there. Next thing we need is some generator blocks. Generator block. It's this one here. Oh, here's where we need our electrum. Okay. Let's grab that. Make 20 electrum? And I only put 10 in. Okay. Well. And so I think um, just round up that by two. So we're gonna have some extras here. See if we're still on track here. No, we are not. Just saying we needed this, but then uh, according to this, I'm still gonna need. Oh no, that should have been right. Why is it saying? Oh, because I did this wrong. We should end up with this extra here. So I'll leave that in our box for now. We just know it's over. We know that we've at least isolated what that mistake is. So for our generator blocks. We need four of these. That worked out perfect. Next we need some steel fence. Three of these. And I just made too much of that. Yes, I did. I only needed three and I hit for three recipes. So we're gonna be down some some steel now. Darn it. Alright, so we need to make some wooden barrels. Matter of fact, we need uh, four of these. Oh, I need 
some iron sheet metal. Need 20 of these. I think now, heavy engineering blocks. Need 15 of these, and we're out of steel. So let's go see. Let's see, that fence cost us a little bit, didn't it? Let me see. That cost us here. That was so four, eight, ten steel. So we're gonna need to grab. Ten more iron out of here. Throw that back in. Alright. That should almost be done. I wish I'd have fuel. Oh, darn that slag. Alright, so we might have to take a quick break here. I'll grab this here, but I think that's not going to last us very long considering what we're doing, so. Because we're going to need um, 15 of these. And we're going to get two. Oh, it's not... It's not stacking them either. Okay. There we go. Now we ran out of this deal. So we'll come back to those uh, light engineering blocks. And these we need six. So we have room for engineering blocks. Redstone engineering blocks. That's like one per machine, so there'll be four of these. Yeah, get to that point where we're running low on uh, supplies here. Uh, fluid pipe. So you get eight of these per, and we need so we need two sets of these. Look at that. Just it's nice when things are working out the way they should. Steel scaffolding. This is again where we're going to run out of. I don't think we have enough to make one. Nope. So, we just need to be able to finish up on the steel scaffolding and the heavy engineering blocks. And I will be back as soon as that steel is cooked. All right, and welcome back. I think we got everything we need here now for our steel. So, let's hop back in here and take a look at our heavy engineering block which we have four already so we need to make eleven more there we go and then we need the steel scaffolding which I don't think we were able to make any right and we need twenty six so give us Twenty-four. Hmm. We were off in what we messed up on. Steel scaffolding. I thought we put that in there. That's three and steel rods. What are we? We're missing two steel and a steel rod. So three steel. All right. Let me go throw that in real quick. And then we can kind of start looking at everything. It won't take very long. I'm blind. I know I am. It's like staring me in the face. Of course, we've used a lot of it, so I may have moved it, but there it is. You know what? Since we have it, why don't we just do this? Because then we're going to upgrade our blast furnace off camera anyhow. So that'll be kind of nice. Let's drop this in here. Get the rest of that out of the way. Yep, that's your junk, buddy. 
All right. And we gotta figure out an exit to that building here eventually. So. All right. Let's take a look at. That's only gonna be a few minutes. So, I got the farmers down. I don't have any power to them yet, but at least they're down now. And we've got this cleared. I just gotta put the uh, the dirt down and the fencing up, um, and we'll be able to widen this path out here a little bit. So, let's see. This one is the potato farm, right? Yeah. So potatoes over here. We got hemp seeds over there. So. Let's see. Heavy machinery. So I think it's what the is it the fermenter we can use the potatoes for? Yeah. So the fermenter. So I like that they do this here, so you can get the complete layout. That's three. It'll take up basically a three by three space. Okay. So we could just set it right in the center of the room here. That should work out pretty good. And then we'll probably end up with uh, um, we expect it to backfill. Um, I don't think we need this kind of power. So we could maybe put uh, some drums or something here before it goes next door. Oh, it's very dark out tonight. Where everything will come in on the two sides here, be handled here, and go through. So, we'll just uh, plop this down here. This is where we expect our machine to be. So, that'll work out pretty good. And then, this one's not closed up yet, but we can still make this one any good. Let's see. So, this is going to be our squeezer. Again, I think that's a 3x3 three three as well. Yeah, looks like it's going to be... Yeah, so this will be a 3x3. Three three. You can do the same thing. So that we can... Yeah, well, that one grew fast. That one definitely wanted to be a grass block. That's for sure. Oh. Okay. Oh, this out of the fence yet. Like, come on, I just took everything down. Something should have spawned that quickly. But we probably have some dead areas in here now. Until we get the walls completely up. I'll just kind of check and make sure everything's okay. Farmland's not a concern. Hi, buddy. Just leave you out there to hang out. I mean, they can get in if they go all the way down. There's an opening all the way down, but I'm not too worried about it. Actually, I might be. I don't want anything to blow up on me, so let's just run down there and patch that up for a moment. You can see here when the uh, So that'll be nice. Let's go uh, grab our steel here. It should almost be done. I just seeing this building keeps frustrating me. Oh yeah, there's four. Let's go grab that. Alright, so just need the scaffold we were working on, right? Oh, we're up here though. Like, why is it not even seeing what I did have? Alright, so we need some of these, some more of these. Alright, so the bucket was something we had before. So 
we drop the electrum somewhere else, or we just leave it there for now? So I thought we were... Alright, well, let's get uh, clear our inventory a little bit here and see if we can't get some of these set up here. We'll probably just get them set up in this episode, and then we're going to get the wiring, uh, priming and the wiring done in the next one.